Okay guys, so we want to be able to collect the emails of our users so that we can actually send them emails or whatever we want to do with the emails. So let's go ahead and set that up using MailChimp. So sign up for a new account if you don't have one. And in this video, we're going to associate Lavo with MailChimp. So first thing, of course, we need a list, right? So I'll create a new list. And this list is simply going to be called dev block for Lavo. And the default from email is going to be from my fake email. And the default from name is going to be from me, my name. And right here, I'll just going to say you are receiving this email from me or whatever. Okay. And right here, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And it's optional. Okay, fine. I'll just save the list. Okay. So right here, when somebody subscribes right here with this email address, it's going to be added to this list right here. Okay. But then how do we integrate MailChimp into Lavo? We're going to use a package and this is going to be a package to manage loose letters in Lavo 5. And all this is going to be helping us to do is to actually associate Lavo with our MailChimp account. So how are we going to be doing this? And remember, Lavo packages are just like PHP packages, but specialized for Lavo. So what we're going to be doing is using the code that someone has already written and it's going to help us to make our lives easier. Okay. So right here we have a PHP client for MailChimp and what these guys have done, the Spati guys, they've helped us and they've made a, an open source package that we can use to easily integrate MailChimp into application. So how are we going to install it? The first thing is to use Composer to require that in. So I'll copy that and I'll run it in my terminal. So I'll paste that composer require spati lavo newsletter. So I'll run that command and it's going to pull down the package into my vendor directory. So while that is installing, let's go on with the next instructions. The next thing is to register the service provider. So we just need to copy this line of code right here and we go into our app.php right here. And this app.php is in our config directory. So config then app.php, we need to register the service provider with our application. Okay. So just think of it as Lavo registering the new package that we just installed. So Lavo needs to know that it's there and it's going to boot up that package. So right here, we are registering it and Lavo is going to boot it up. And then the next step, if we want to use a facade, for example, things like auth and session that we've been using, then just put this in the aliases array. So right down here to the bottom, we're going to put it in the aliases array. So rather than referencing all of this at the top, for example, saying use the Spati something, something class, we're just going to say use newsletter and we're going to be using it as such. Okay. So just think of this as an alias for a long namespace or long file path. Okay. So now that it's set up the set, the next thing is to publish the configuration file. So we just have to run this command right here. So we'll copy all of this and we'll run it, but we have to make sure that this installation is complete. So once the installation is complete, like here, we'll paste that in and PSP Ashton vendor publish is simply going to copy a file from the package we just installed and it's going to move it right up here. Okay. So let's publish that. So it copied the file from the vendor's party direction directory that we just installed to the config slash Lavo newsletter dot PHP. So right there, there it is. So the next thing that we need to do is register our MailChimp with the config. Okay. So we have to configure our MailChimp. So our API key is coming from the MailChimp account. So let's go ahead and get mine. So I'll head over to my profile right here and in my settings, or in my extras, I'll be able to have my API keys. So right there about the API key, your API key provide full access, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just create a new key. And after creating this key, I'm going to copy it. So I'll copy that information. And when I copy it, I will need to paste it in to my ENV file. Okay. And the .env file in Lavo is where we paste in some important stuff. Okay. So this method right here is simply getting what we have saved in our MailChimp API key in our .env file. So let's create that. So we'll say MailChimp and we'll say API 
key right there and would say equals my API key. So if MailChimp API key is gonna get that from our .env file. So these are environment variables, okay? So now that, that we, we've set that up, the next thing is when not specifying a list name in the various methods, what list should be used? So I'm gonna give the name of the list that should be used right here. So the list that we created right here, the name of the list was dev block. So I'm gonna say, in case I don't specify, make sure you use the dev block list. Okay, so dev block list right there. Or we can just go ahead and say dev block like this. And the default list name is gonna be right here. So dev block. So the next thing is to actually configure the list that we're gonna be using, okay? And we configure this using the MailChimp list ID. So we need to go to our .env file and paste that in. And we need to get the name or the list that we created right here. So what we're gonna do is we are in our list and then we go right here and then we get the settings. And from there, we should be able to get our list right here. So unique ID for the list, there it is. So we'll just assign that right here. So we set up the API key, we set up the list in our config and we should be good to go. Okay, so we've set up our default list, everything's fine. So now we need to set up a controller for that, okay? Or we can actually do this without a controller. Let's just head over to our web.php and what we're gonna do is just have a route for registering or signing up a user. And this is gonna be a post and what we're gonna say right here is slash subscribe. And right here, we're gonna have a closure and that post is gonna come with some requests of cost. So we'll say the email is equals to the request email right there, okay? So since we have the newsletter class that we registered as an alias, remember in our app.php, we have the newsletter class and we can use that. So newsletter and we'll assess it just like was described in our documentation, we can say newsletter, subscribe, and we'll subscribe an email. So we'll say subscribe, and we're gonna subscribe the email that was passed from our front end. And then right here, we'll just return, redirect, and the user back right there, okay? So next thing that we can do is actually set a session right there. And we're gonna be using that session to just tell the user that, okay, you succeeded or whatsoever. So we'll just say, subscribed will be the name of the session and we'll just say success fully subscribed okay so let's go ahead and test that out but first in our front end the blade.php we need to make sure that that form is ready to send in the data right here we have a subscribe form and uh, right here the post is post and right here is going to go to the slash subscribe route that we just set up and right here we need to give a name okay the name is already email and when we click on subscribe it's supposed to submit so let's just go ahead and say type equals submit right here and when we click on subscribe it's supposed to subscribe okay so let's try that out and hopefully it's gonna work so right here in my form i'll paste in my own email address and uh, i'll try to submit and token mismatch exception of course so right here i have to echo out the csrf field right there before i'm able to post so i'll go back and i'll refresh the form right there and i'm gonna submit so I'll say right here and i'll subscribe and uh, we were redirected and uh, hopefully everything worked Let's try to refresh our list and see if we have any subscribers. So right here, we have a new subscriber right here. So Katy France is a new subscriber. So we can subscribe as many accounts as we want. We just scroll to the bottom and we're just going to subscribe a new account. And I subscribe and we're redirected back. So we have two new users. If I refresh that, you discover we have two new users. So our subscription is working perfectly. Just for a second there in our web.php, when we set that session, what we can actually do is, let's just head over to our app.blade.php in our layouts. And what I'm gonna do is just copy some Noti 
Remember right here we are generating by Noti. So I'm just going to copy the links for the Noti and I'm just going to put it right here. So we can be able to trigger a notification. Okay, so I'll paste in Noti there and I'll also get the link for their CSS. Okay, so it's not Noti, it's Toaster, but whatever, all of them notify. So right there I'm going to paste that in and if I, I'll check for a session just like I did in my app.blade.php. So right down at the bottom, I'll copy the script tag, I'll head over to my front end and I'm going to paste it right there. And I don't need this one. And I'll get rid of the info and I'll stick with the success. Oh, right here, we actually said it should be subscribed. So we'll say get subscribed. Okay, so we set it to subscribe in our web.php. So it was called subscribed right here. So that's exactly what we're going to check for in our front end.blade.php. Okay, so now that we've inserted that, let's go ahead and try this out. Refresh. And let's go ahead and register some new subscriber. So we'll say subscribe this email and we have successfully subscribed right there. Awesome. So let's refresh. And we have three new users into MailChimp. So how easy was that? Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next video.